Everything here is big. A mine almost two miles wide. 250 ton trucks. Welcome to the second largest boron mine in the world. This is literally the money shot. This is what they're after. This is kernite and after it's been processed, the boron will come from this and on into two, 300 different products, many of them electronics that we have in our home, like the toughened glass on the front of microwave ovens. But when everything is this big, it's the little things that can make a difference. Data on the mine's 20 trucks is collected and analysed. Sensors on the trucks detect bumps and movement, uploading what they find to the cloud. Amazon's Greengrass programme then takes over and returns its analysis, here in the form of a map showing how different routes and surfaces affect the tyres on these monster tippers. You can see a heat map here of our mine pit where it's green is a little bit smoother road and where you have the darker red and orange is a rougher road. So we're, we're able to monitor our road roughness and uh, dispatch our road grading crews to the appropriate areas so that we can optimize the work they're doing in the field and ultimately that'll save tire wear on our haul trucks. So why doesn't Rio Tinto monitor all this for themselves? Why not rely on their own experience? Why use cloud computing services at all? We're a mining company, we're not a software company. We should be leveraging best practice on how we can actually solve these types of problems. Uh, there's no reason really to reinvent the wheel. Uh, if it didn't exist, we probably would have done this. And then there's the savings, another big attraction of using cloud services, because Rio Tinto reckons it can save what the system costs multiple times over. Yes, in this case, just in rubber. You could possibly get up to maybe 40, 50 percent more life on a tire. So how much money is that for the people at home? So our tires cost about 40 to 50 thousand dollars. So 25 25 thousand dollars more out of the life of a tire is pretty good. 